Hey everyone, I'm Jenna Zafino, and this is your Movement Flow class. These short movement sequences are designed to help you get in touch with your own body, drop into your creativity, and even create a little resilience within a busy week. So let's begin. Today we're going to focus on angles. So I'll have you start with your right leg bent in and your left leg extended. We're just going to explore the asymmetry between the two shapes by taking your left arm up and over and just taking a long stretch rooting down into the left sit bone coming all the way up and then to the other direction rooting down into the right sit bone. So grounding through the center and reaching to one side, grounding through the center and reaching to the other. And we're gonna add a little foot articulation. So as we reach over, flex the left foot, reach it long. And as we come back, point and crack through all of the bones of your foot and reach up and flex as you come over. And we're just not being too precious about the shapes, just exploring what's there. And this time as you flex and come over, go ahead and bend this knee to come up. So feel the angles. And then we're gonna bend the top elbow too. So we'll come into this very angular shape. And as we push out, we can actually reach to the foot and come into a long shape. So this arm is a little less curved, a little more reached. Flex, come up and over and bend and press, point and reach. And just notice the difference and the dynamic and the quality. I'm even beginning to bend my underneath arm a little bit more as I come to that side bend. We'll just do a couple more, allowing the breath to truly expand on the inhale and connect us on the exhale. Last one, we're gonna come in here and as we bend and then just extend your arm and point your foot. So from here, we're gonna come all the way around, give a little lift to the underneath leg, support yourself in that side position, and just kick it up, see what's there for you, and lower down, articulating through your foot, and kick it up. You can even look in the general direction, very kind of Cleopatra, goddess-like, one might say. Let's just do a couple more, and lower, and then last one, and lower and if you feel like it you can bring your other arm up you can bend it in and you can extend creating two parallel lines and bend this is a little variation from a fletcher floor work piece but i like it and it works so we're pulling it in today one more and good from here we're going to close the knee on top we're going to take the elbows down on either side and i'm just going to sneak the position in a little bit more rotate your spine face your chest to the ground and then just a little kind of clamshell opening of the knee closing on top and open and that front arm really wants to extend but we're going to do the best we can to keep the elbow grounded and breathe into the twist it might limit the hip mobility a little bit in this shape, that's okay. Let's do two, good. And then last one, and from here, we're gonna pick the knee up and just bring it in nice and deep, almost to touch your tricep, your shoulder, your elbow, and then extend it back and bring it in, crunch it in and extend. So compressing that left side and then really lengthening out compressing it in and let's free up that top arm compress it in and feel the connection that you make between your arm and your leg reach it out and feel the length and the stretch and compress and lengthen I'm kind of bringing my head and neck in to compress reaching it out to lengthen let's do three press and two reach and one and reach and stay and from here take it into a long line along the side flex your foot you can bring your opposite hand to face your hand front pick yourself up and out lift that leg we're going to kick it forward and press it way back sweep it forward and press it back reach and reach everything else is quiet looking for that length it can get a little crunchy in that top side of the body try to keep opening it up for two and good and last one and press 
bring it back down. We're gonna go ahead and lay down on our side, scooting under. Just give your head a pillow with your arm. Other hand comes in front. We're gonna lift that top leg up, and with the bottom leg, flex your foot and rotate it externally as if you could touch your knee to your inner thigh, which I'm gonna ask you to do, and then lower it down. Keep the top leg lifted and use the bottom leg in the external rotation, turn it out. If you have a lot of it, maybe you'll come with your heel in front of that foot, and that would be amazing. Good, we'll go three, and two. Last one, lift it up, and we're gonna lower them both down. Now from here, think of picking your leg up with your bottom heel, staying connected, and lift the whole thing up and lower the whole thing down. And maybe there's a little shortening or a little rotation that happens. I invite you to play with that. It doesn't feel great on my back, but maybe it does on yours and that is okay. Let's do four and lower, push it and lift. Certainly feeling that side hip by now too. One more, we're gonna lift it up to stay and what I want you to do is see if you can slide that heel all the way down to meet your other leg, flex your feet, and walk, 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 walk. Good for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring them together, lower them down, bend your knees, work your way up. Take this leg that we just worked a lot, cross it over, oh, and then just lean forward gently. <laughs> Note to self, doing hip movement flows on a day after you worked your legs may not be advised, but sensations are how we gain awareness in some cases, right? Good, last one. Reaching forward, just pressing, 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 stretching. Good, onto the other side. So we're bending this left leg, extending the right, grounding through and beginning by a long reach away from the leg, coming up and just flowing and oh, that's gonna feel really nice on that side. And reach away, allowing that breath to just kind of flow you through the different positions. Nothing's too precious about where things go. All of these flows are just about creating a depth of awareness, They're not about performance, more about exploration than anything. Let's do two more. And on this one, let's flex as we go away and let's point as we reach and flex. I think I want a little more time in that position and point as we reach and flex, breathing into the spaces that need it. Point, good, and flex, reaching up and over, and point. Now we're gonna add the bend of the knee, so as you come up, let's, whoops, bend to come overhead, and reach to go over, and again, up, pull it in and bend, reach, and lengthen. Oh, everyone gets a little bit more into that crampy area of the side body and stretch. I wonder if when I'm 90, I'll no longer feel those side exercises. Probably not. And reach, let's do one more. Stretch it over. And then from here, you can just reach that arm out long or take it behind your head and just extend or hold on to the leg like we did on the other side. Extend, toe ball, heel. Extend, toe ball, heel. And extend toe ball heel. Let's bring it up, match the shape. If you're ready, press up and out of that side. Extend, toe ball heel. And two, just like, look at my foot. Look at my foot, so beautiful. Look at my foot. Last one, and we're gonna bring it in and we're gonna rotate the chest down, close the leg, clamshell opening and closing, just resisting that urge to open the chest without creating too much compression, right? We're just, we're playing with resistance. Where is the resistance? Where can we work with it? Where we need a little more support, a little more breath. Let's do two. And last one. And now from here, pull that knee in, 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 a little harder on this side and extend it out. And pull it in and make those adjustments that you need to. If there's a small shift, this side is not wanting to touch there we go, Whew. and two more, pull and reach. Last one, let's add 
the arm. So as we pull in, we touch and we reach way out. Pull in to touch, reach. We've got drama face on right now. You use the face that works best for you as you're working challenging parts of your body for three <laughs> and stretch and two, stretch and one and reach and then turn it over, reaching long, taking that leg up off the ground, hand behind the head, flex. We're gonna kick and press, kick and press. Again, letting yourself flow, ideally, on the same plane from front to back. Four, push, and three, and two, reach, and one, press it back. We're gonna bring it back into the center, lower down. Go ahead and take yourself, make a pillow for your head. We're lifting that top leg up, and then the bottom foot flexes to touch the inner thigh with your foot, and lower down. So a little external rotation, maybe it even comes in front, lower and touch, lower and touch, and lower, keeping it nice and long in the front hip, nice and strong in the side and back for two. And last one, everything lowers down and then you push the top leg with the bottom leg to lift it up and lower. I don't think I said this on the other side. I call this the Peter Pan, right? So like, no. For those of you who are in the age bracket that understands that reference, Thank you and you're welcome for four <laughs> and three and two. You're gonna do one more to lift it up and stay and then keep that inner heel connected and reach it all the way along and reach it out and point your foot and then flex your foot and walk, 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 walk. Keep it going for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one and pull them together and then we'll come up and sit and we'll cross that leg over on the other side Ooh, sing just hinging forward lifting up and again i am with you if you can get that sits bone to drop i don't know if it's happening for me today but if you can try go for it if not that's okay every day is a different adventure with the body yeah good and last two and one more, reach, 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 and come back to center. So from here, we're gonna unhook that leg and bring it out into a wide position and just play with a few angles of the hip and knee, internal and external rotation. So we're just gonna roll the knees over to the side, drop that in, maybe press through your hip a bit, come back to center, ground the sits bones, roll to the other side, press the other hip open. Again, exploring just range and mobility at whatever level you have available to you at this moment. Just scoot back on the mat. Sometimes you do a little walking forward on the sits bones party trick and that's okay too. Reach and in and reach. Just kind of clearing it out one more time. Reach and in. Bring your legs into a diamond and just a simple pattern to finish, just something to liven you up. Round your arms. You're going to take your arms up and kind of to the first position we did, you're gonna open them and reach and hold something wonderful in your hands and be a dancer or be a warrior or be a goddess or be a leader or be whatever you need to be in this moment and then gather that energy back up to the center and lower it all the way down. That's all we're gonna do, just lifting up and opening and feel the expanse across your chest. Lift it again and lower. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in and lower, breathing in and reach long and open through that chest. This is, you know, where we kind of get to get our energy back. Like anything that's been just trotting us down, so to speak, we get to just shake it off, shake it off the shoulders, come back to center, lower down. Let's actually cross the legs and just like, I don't know what this is, but just shake it off for a moment. Shake it off. You're doing a great job. Thank you for joining me today. Remember that in order to care for others, it's of the utmost importance that you also care for yourself. So thank you for doing that with me today and I'll see you next time.